without further ado we will dive straight into the new report that the wife of the kidnapper and murderer of the little angel anifa is set free by a kanu magistrate court after she gave her testimony wow the testimony revealed a lot and also some other stories gathering our testimony why she revealed her testimony and how convincing the testimony is there are questions that will be asked or has always been asked how can you a mother of two your husband bring in a child from outside such a little angel you know and you can't how is it that this all happened in your home and he kept this child for 14 good days and you come to say you are innocent you don't know what really happened she narrated how her husband deceived her completely she and her husband has been married for six years so you know the husband would have known how his you know, the way you would talk and she would believe him she had no iota of doubt because marrying somebody for six years is enough ground for you to be able to trust that person to and a lot of extent to know what the person can do and what the person cannot do so she narrated in court that when the husband came first came home with the child anifa anifa was wearing a uniform and so she asked what happened why are you bringing home this girl and he told the wife that don't worry it is one of my teachers mind you abdul malik has two schools that he is the proprietor is running two mushroom schools of course you will have nothing less than probably i don't but mushroom school at least maybe two or three in one school the other one maybe in total nothing less than five so he told the wife that she is one of the daughters of this is a daughter of one of his teachers in the school and uh, the teacher wants to travel to Saudi Arabia so he had gone to Abuja to prepare his paperwork so that is why he brought the child to home to take care of the child before uh, the, the the parent of the child will come back so i don't know how it was, she was able to get confused because um convinced um owing to the fact that okay good is it that both parents probably told her uh, that is the both parents so let's see let's assume that is what he told her that both parents had gone to abuja to prepare the traveling as we all know nigerians travel on pilgrimage and all of these paperwork are mostly done in abuja and every year they travel for Hajj, two two three times a year they travel to saudi arabia so that's a very 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 um easy and convincing story to convince the wife then she also said that she saw a new phone with him and he asked him that where did you get this phone how come about this phone and she immediately told the wife that a friend gave him the phone to charge and you know another situation in our country there is no light no light here and there even for like weeks now more than two weeks for scarcity and there is no steady electricity until like few days that we're getting more hours than not even getting electricity for days so then and you know this whole thing happened in december if you remember when this girl was kidnapped and this whole nepa issue too started in december yeah we're in this country we know what is happening so the whole thing 
again you know the 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 the, the, the economy also contributed to this <laughs> that's my own opinion so he convinced the wife to that the phone um was a phone that a friend gave him to charge so i assumed he used to own generator but for how long did he keep the phone for two weeks because the girl was brought into the house and the girl stayed there for two weeks two weeks preparation to get the paperwork how long does it take to go to abuja how long does it take to prepare papers traveling traveling papers to saudi arabia for pilgrimage for two weeks wow all right it was a very convincing story because why she was even narrating the story she was crying and they caught out to excuse her for five minutes to go out and calm herself down even the husband could not even look at her when she was giving uh, a testimony about a knowledge about the whole thing okay and another person the owner of the phone also was in the court the owner of the phone is not the fatima that was mentioned as one of the suspects you remember that hashim is yaku 37 year old fatima jibril Musa, 27 year old the only the only female uh, um, that is different from the jamila jamila is the wife of abdul malik muhammad tanko the main suspect okay so the owner of the phone came to talk about how she lost her phone listen she lost her phone in the tri tricycle um machine that is we call it the kekena pep here in lagos so she lost her phone and that was how they took the phone i remember in the story how anifa was kidnapped she was taken in the kekena pep okay the same tricycle bike that this phone owner lost her uh this this owner uh this phone owner lost her phone okay was given in there that she lost her phone in why she entered the tricycle so when you lose your phone don't just say i've lost my phone go and try to first block the line secondly make sure you report at the police station no matter what trouble it takes you try and report you don't know what they might use the phone to do they might use your sim but if you block the sim they can't use your sim anymore and if you don't block the sim they can use your sim and if they don't use your sim they put another sim inside the phone obviously the owner of the phone can still be traced even without your sim inside yeah because she said she was called they were, she was called by the DSS and the invest, why the investigation was going on. So we're not too sure if they were using a SIM card. That's not even the case. So even if they use a SIM card or not, so long as your phone is still working and it gets lost and you can't find it, go and report. If your phone gets spoiled and it can't be reported, take it back. It can't be repaired, take it back and make sure you destroy it or go and keep it somewhere safe sometimes also um, some part of your phone can be removed and if it is removed it can be traced if it's using other part of the phone i'm telling you of real life stories whereby people that they, they, their phone goes spoiled and they want to repair they go to the regular phone repairer and they swap the phone, the, the board in the phone of a stolen phone and they put it in theirs and it's working. Yes, these are expensive phone, it's working. But by the time it was traced, it was traced to somebody else. So we had our lessons to get from here and to learn from here. The wife was keeping mood for two weeks maintaining hearing the lies of the husband never investigated further and 
you know another thing when um, during that testimony she said when they when he brought the the little girl and if her to their home it just she was on uniform and said this she was crying said she was crying as in she was really crying and you know how disturbing that would be so probably the wife would be the one trying to pamper her and he told the little girl that look at your other new friends two she had two daughters and said these are your new friends play with them so i can imagine what the wife too would have you know done to calm this little girl down and all that but the story the husband felt her she used the story directed her story in the court and it was really emotional moment so what do you think um do you think this is good enough story or we should just learn from it make sure that we question no matter what no matter who uh even if you are married for 20 years or whatever try to raise eyebrow try to go beyond how would it look like two weeks somebody you brought in a child you know is has she been going to school for two weeks if it happened december december 4th so i don't know how they remain the following week or when did she didn't go to school for two weeks or was there all the day for two weeks i think already starts close to middle of december so that will be like another two weeks before the closure or the closure of the school for holidays so what happened what happened more questions need to be asked more questions need to be raised let's see us in the comment section thanks for watching and if this is your first time please do like this video and gives us a thumb up bye for now